so guys welcome back uh, uh, the previous video we attempted uh, the craft paper uh, task 1 a so we are going to tax 1b remember this paper is uh, was done in november 2021 for the craft option so uh, b says the management of ktv college intends to hold an open uh, day session you are required to use the mail merge feature in word processing program to send letters to all the parents inviting them to, uh, to this occasion open a new open a new blank document create the following data source at a, as it appears in table one save the documents as data source in the neck folder so that is three marks so we are supposed to create uh, a data source uh. so let me create a new document and uh, process a new blank document here here it is uh, as it says here just a little bit maybe i can show all this no show the tabs and uh, show okay so we are here so how do we create a how do we attempt this question so we have this option here this tab known as mail mailings huh? so you go to mailings here and then click on start mail merge now ours is what letters huh? we were told to do letters so it's letters but now you need to do, we need to do this by step by step so there's this option down here step by step mail merge wizard so we click on it uh, it will show all the uh, this option here we, it's a letter so you go and click next start document sorry it's a letter oh uh, next it's here use current document or template or so for us we are going to use the current document um so you click next now we are supposed to type now this this is our these are our recipients eh? so we are supposed to create a data source for them so you select these recipients and the recipients uh, you go to this option known has type a new list now create so here under under new address list it will give you uh, some options type the recipient information in this table to add more entries click on the entry you click here but now we are going to edit all this and customize make it uh, the way we want here we have title the next we have uh, the next we have name telephone and town so you need to uh, we need to customize this and make it uh, and make it uh, 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 make it appear as this so you go to customize columns under customize we have title you add sorry so let's rename this to name just name we have name click ok we don't have last name we delete this 
a company name you know, address so I can just select this delete delete uh, name town it's here maybe we can rename this to town and then email we don't need it delete work phone we have telephone number maybe we move it up it's in between name and town so we will name it to telephone and you click ok zip code we don't need this you delete uh, country uh, we don't need this so we have customized our address so as you can see here we have title uh, name phone and uh, telephone and town so you just have to type directly so here we have mr and then mr who kennedy Welton and then the number it's six eight nine seven six five four the town it's embu you yeah, go to next we just click the tab uh tab key Mrs. Margaret Melvin six seven. this three four five ensure you you insert the correct uh, details as given so after typing bungoma you click on the tab key continue we also have mrs that is in thicker we have mister I think I have to pause this video and insert all this. So after now uh, filling all this table, the details, so you need to click OK. So it will give you an op uh, option of saving, uh, saving your data source. So you remember you have to give the directory of the next folder that uh, we created before neck folder it's here so and we were told that we are supposed to name it as data source if i can if i can see it 
where 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 was this yeah we were told to name it as data source so we just name it as data source and then click save and then click ok so after now doing all that and we have saved it uh, I think this was how many marks were this let me check and uh, those are three marks huh? we go to part two yeah we are told open a new a blank document and create the following main document as it appears save it, save the document as main document so you are supposed to create a new document all this type all this all this and you save it as main document huh? okay let's do that so let's open a new file new blank document we type all this so let me hold the video and i'll come back we continue uh, welcome back we have uh, i've already typed now all this uh, this is now the letter that we are told to type as it appears and we save it as the main document huh? so under under the main document i did uh, see some few uh, details that i would like maybe to show you so as you can see here this uh, re uh, the, the this title here is in bold and uh, almost at the center so we select it so this is like formatting we make it bold and then under alignment we make it at the center uh, but if you put it on under the center it moves a little bit more the center but now this one so some few inches from the beginning so let's move it to here so if you want to move your text a little bit to the right we have this uh, left uh ident ident here so by moving it to the right it moves your text huh? so just adjust it to where you want uh, your text to be aligned to maybe a little bit here this looks nicer um okay so under and also in the same uh, in the same document uh, you can be s uh, you can see the here that uh, open day that will be held on 23rd 23rd year the third year ld it's a uh, superscript so in my document here you need to move this ld to as a superscript huh? so you select your ld and then you click superscript option here and it moves your text up there mm -hmm. and then i see the rest looks okay uh, we do have our another a small challenge here our letter was signed as you can see it here our letter was signed but now we don't have a signature here so you need to be creative on uh, when tackling these uh, uh, questions so you need like a signature how do you insert a signature so an, uh, the simplest way that you can do open Uh, paint in your windows paint make your own signature maybe 
we need like a gem shot maybe now this is our signature so let's sign it uh, okay something like that so you need to uh, s go to this option here select all and then we crop it uh, we crop our signature and then you now this is our signature we have selected you click on this crop save us these images png or jpeg for this option we are just only going to save it as a png after now inserting your signature you go to insert a picture because you exported uh, your signature as a picture and then from this device go to the folder where you saved uh, that's under cloud your image uh, import it this is now signature make a little bit Ah, that uh, that looks okay to me so let's save this as we are told to save this as main document and that is only three marks so you go to save and that's under drive sorry let me just go to the direct savers mm. this pc desktop now we need the next folder and we name it as main document and we save it so after doing that we were told uh, part c use use the data source in main document to create a customized letter save the document as merged letter in the next folder so how do you do that so let me let me delete all this yeah up to this so you go to mail merge then you select step by step uh, go to letters and then click on next <sighs> takes a little more time use the current document and then click next uh, we are told to insert our document and then now uh, you are supposed to browse remember, remember the table that we created it's here data source open all these our our data source you click ok select all and you click ok and then write your doc uh, your, your letter
so you can see that uh, under our document you can see here we have title name telephone town then dear name so we already uh, added those to when we created uh, the data source so it's very simple now to add these to now there uh, in in later merge so you just move your cursor where you you want to press this title you go here maybe we need to put it there and then here we have address greetings no we just need a title so you go select title uh, and then insert we also need the name name insert and then you close and then now under now this we need telephone more telephone insert close we also need town you do the same more items down insert and then uh -huh. so let me move this text a little bit high up to there there here we have dm name so you also insert name and we cross so we have already added everything to our, our letter mail merge so we can preview this we we'll preview so this is kennedy so you can you, you'll be able now to see all the recipients that you have uh mr kennedy mr kennedy uh, telephone town embu uh, date and then dear kennedy maybe if you want to go the second one margaret mrs margaret we need some spacing here mm, previous let me put some spacing okay uh, that looks okay to me second margaret so you can see we have all our recipients so you need to complete your merge click complete so we need to you can either now after now creating these you can you, you'll be able now to um, to print so whereby you go to print and then you can set maybe all uh, the current record all 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 records huh? so let's save as this as much later so we save us save us and this pc stop neck 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 we are told to save us much later sorry let us now we save So let's confirm in our neck folder what we have up to now. Maybe I can close all these documents that I was typing. So that database can be updated. So as per the question that we had,
by the end you are supposed to have a document known as data processing which we have and then data source we have main document we have it and then now the uh, matched letters so this is our signature that I did maybe I can, I can delete it so we already have these uh. so let's meet uh, in the next lesson and continue with now task 2 of uh, this video tutorials thank you